Oh, you know damn well. I had to come prepared with a cup of tea for this one. Some time ago, some months ago, we started a journey. We went through ancient Egypt, the pirate seas, the wild west, the frostbite caves, the lost city, the far future, the dark ages, the neon mixtape tour, and then the Jurassic Marsh. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it has all come down to this. This is the moment you have been waiting for. It's not even the final world, but this is the moment you've been waiting for. Oh, I can't wait for Wolfie to get to Big Wave Beach. Well, Wolfie is never gonna get past Big Wave Beach. Oh! He's gonna get slapped up on Big Wave Beach. Yeah, well, do you know what? Probably. But damn it, if I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna go down fighting. We're doing it. We're finally doing it. We're playing Big Wave Beach. Bring it on. 32 levels of absolute hell. Apparently. See, what if I get into this and it's actually like, it's the easiest world ever? What if I've just been pranked this whole time? Look at this beautiful beach. It's got everything a growing plant needs. Sun, sand, and lots of water. Actually, I think IGN would probably say too much water. Caution user Dave, my senses detect there are zombies on your beach. And far too much water. See, this is what I'm saying, IGN. No problemo, we'll just lay down some lily pads. Okay, so we'll bring the lily pads back into it. I presume they do the same thing as they did before. Let's get started with Big Wave Beach. So it costs 25, same as before. Uh, how do we want to kick this off? Maybe keep it nice and simple. Bring you, bring you. I forget, can I put potato mines on lily pads or is that not a thing? I actually, I can't remember. I've heard Space Johnny's good for this world. Although he does come out of a toaster. That's not really gonna... Trust me, I tried using that shit in the bath before and it didn't end well. I want to say the gimmick of this world is that the tide kind of comes in and out. So if I want to put any stuff in the water, then obviously I've got to put down a lily pad first. But I do think the tide shifts. Let me try this out real quick. I cannot plant... Okay. I mean, that does make sense. It's underground. Hello. That would be why I can't plant it on a lily pad. I'm thinking just lightning reeds for this first level. Just keep it nice and simple. Do you know what I mean? But I probably don't even need to be going down with the primal potato mines straight away. I just want to keep this nice and basic to get started. This is the world that everyone says I'm going to be stuck on for like half a decade. Oh, you're never going to get past Big Wave Beach. Yeah, we'll see. If I get past this... Then I don't want to hear no complaints. I don't want, I want, I want Zippo. I want ladies and gentlemen of the jury, exhibit A. Nice and easy. Um, don't even need the lily pads really for this first one. Then again, not really doing a whole lot, are they? Oh, this is going to be the world where they send, what's his name? Octo Dad. Oh, he's such a pain in the ass. He like throws little mini Octo lings and they like grab hold of your plant so you can't use them i mean do you think it possible i could just get through the entire world doing this just lightning read my way through the whole thing biggest reach since halo yeah look they even put him in the little thumbnail just to let me know what's coming so we got lily pad sure will be an essential for this world ah see this is where it's going to change up we should be where the tides i presume this kind of seaweed here is going to be the cutoff point so anything that i plant behind that i'm going to guess is safe and then anything in front of that, if it's not on a lily pad, is going in the bin. Let me try magnifying grass. I can put that on a lily pad, can't I? Bring a magnet shroom, maybe? Uh, tile turnip's probably going to be a no-go. Definitely bring caveman Johnny. Or do I just bring space Johnny? No, I'll bring caveman Johnny for now. And then, cherry to the bomb. I like how the lawnmowers are just barbecues. It would appear we are, in fact, in Australia. Want to get some shrimps on the barbie, mic? See, with two rows of primal sunflowers, I'm thinking... This magnifying grass thing is going to be good. This is going to work out quite nicely. It's the nice thing about using magnifying grass as a kind of strategy is I only need to have one down in each lane. But I don't have to worry about loading up the whole field. It really is as cheap as chips. Well, and, until I have to start shooting. And then it's quite expensive. Here comes the tide. That's fine. I'm going to put that like there with a magnet room. Well, nothing has any metal attached to it, so... Unless the handle to that flag is metal. I'm not strictly sure that's going to count. Would you please do the honors? Thanking you. See, you're mine, Big Wave Beach. Shit ain't hard. Me and Magnifying Grass, we're going to plow right through this bitch. Let me hit this. Oh, there's only two of them. I can literally see another bucket head. Hit it again. Good stuff. Final wave's coming up. Hit it. No, that one doesn't count. Okay. Oh, I'm out. I'm out. Hold on. And we're good. Okay. 
So, first two levels, not too bad. So far, so good. Remember, we got 32 levels of this. It only gets better from here. When fighting zombies from the deep, we need a plant with the appetite of a shark. I catch a drift penny. You're talking about Chomper. Indeed, his sharp teeth could turn... You're going to make me use Chomper? PVZ3 level? Conveyor belt level, even better. And we're using Chomper. Okay, so yeah, the tide's not going to come past there. Good. Okay. Well, we could go pea shooters along the back. If they decide to give me more than one. Hey, repeaters as well. Christmas came early. Nom. The tide's coming out. That's pretty much as good as the setup's going to get for this one. Just chompers and pea shooters. God, it's taking me back to PVZ1, this. The good old days. What was it like? I'd probably imagine by summer, like the second part of PVZ1, I was done using chomper. Took me about that long to realize that he's dog shit in that game as well. Oh yeah, I forgot. Chomper's got that plant food, hasn't he? The Dyson vacuum. Okay, now cover your mouth at least. Well, that sounded like one of them magic squashes from PS1 Harry Potter that you had to feed the jelly beans to. Did you hear that fucking sentence that I just said? That must hit so different listening to that with no context. <laughs> I mean, they're not getting past this, so... But apparently we're going strictly top and bottom lane only. Who's getting the suck? I think this lane's getting the suck. That's it. Fucking hell. Three levels down. This isn't too bad so far. This is like, what, we're, we're almost a tenth of the way through it now. My question is, when does it start going south? We've got imps coming in now. Okay. Well, I'm not going to lie to you. I was kind of vibing with magnifying grass. In fact, we could throw some tile turnips in there, maybe. In fact, how many lanes have I got there? Three lanes? I see. Well, I could... I'll tell you what, I'm going to bring primal potato mine. Mate, peep this idea that I've got. It's so sick. Actually, it's not that good. I was going to go like a row of primal sunflowers, then a row of primal potato mines, and then another row of primal sunflowers. Now, nah, in fact, I don't even know why I brought primal potato mine. Bit of a numb nuts move that really, wasn't it? I could always just load up on more sunflowers, I suppose. Because like, if we're going with magnifying grass, then like, it's that simple. The more sun production I have, the better the strategy is. It's pretty simplistic how it works. And they recharge hella quick, so we'll start getting some tile turnips on these back ones. Because imagine how powerful the plant food is going to be with three rows of primal sunflowers. And I just leveled up my tile turnip as well, so it's a bit cheaper. Give me that plant food. One more of those. Should we hit one right now? Oh, one more primal sunflower. There we go. Hit it. Look at all that power. The power! I pretty much wiped out the whole wave there and then. Another tile turnip? Four? Is that greedy or is that actually going to pay off? Why the hell did I put that up there? What on earth was the point in that? Number five? Oh my... Pfft. Jesus. Kind of want to see what's going to happen when I hit this. You ready for it? Oh! <laughs> oh, mate. Oh, what the hell? I've got mermaid imps now. That's great. Coming up and ambushing my sunflowers. Watch this entire wave just get melted. Watch this. Oh, we have survivors? Oh, I'm sorry. Let me get that for you. Wow, that was just... Man, is is this the strategy? Ah, see, here's the only problem. If Octodad comes in and he gets a hold of my magnifying grass, then I'm shit out of luck. Like, there's nothing I can do at that point. I've got no backup. Not sending him just yet, though. Is this conveyor belt? Certainly is. Giving us a little taster of the Tangle Kelp. Does it insta-kill Bucketheads? Maybe? Oh, it certainly does. That we like. If we try and save these ones specifically for the more bulky ones, a cone head I can take. Bucket heads, on the other hand, are a problem. Especially bucket heads in bikinis. That's just a whole different side of things that we don't need to be getting involved with. Low tide. And what am I supposed to be doing? Uh, let me just bin off this lane. I don't know what else to do. Might have to do the same here. See, like, if it's one bucket head, I can deal with that. Do you fancy lending me, like, more than one pea shooter for each lane? Thank you. What happens if I plant food the Kangle... The, the Kangle? <laughs> you know, the Kangle tell. Well, this is pretty much as much as I can do. Until the tide comes back in. I didn't actually pay attention to what happens when I plant fooded it just then. Which doesn't really help. Let me try it. 
Can't feed it. Oh, okay. It just goes for multiple lanes. It's about as much as I can ask for. Uh, do it again. That sounds demonic. Oh, there's a lot of them. Come on. Just need these Johnnies to hold up a little bit longer. I'm trying so hard to specifically go for the bucket heads with these. Sometimes it just don't work out like that. That's me more or less spent. So I'll just have to see if it's enough. Another one. Alright, that's it. Jobs are good and Bob's your uncle. Five days down. Has gone quite swimmingly so far. That wasn't funny. Survive the zombie attack with most plants picked for you. Okay, so this is like PVZ 2.5. Nah, uh, more like PVZ 2.8. Give me some real basic shit there. I'm thinking I just say to hell with it and I bring magnifying grass. And tile turnip. Just gonna have to get down hella lily pads for this one. Right, okay. Something gotta work a little bit quicker than I wanted to. Gotta remember that happens every time the tide goes out. Got a mermaid imp's hiding underneath it. I'm actually gonna have to wait for him to start. Oh god, I hate it when they send these ones. I actually have to wait for them to come up and start attacking something. Um, if I put that down. That's it. It's like lettuce. Go on. Chow down. Let me use a tangle kelp for this one. That's the thing. I don't need to waste money on trying to kill bucketheads when I can just do that for 25 sun. That's a way better investment. Question is, can I hit the snorkelers with this? No, I can't. So I legit have to wait for them to come up before I can do anything at all. I can't even plant food my way around it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Perfect timing. Let's get it. That's it. Burn them all. That actually couldn't have happened at a better time. No, I'm going to hold off from going for the fourth one. It's so tempting. It's so tempting. I'm not going to do it. I shall think smart. It's tempting to tangle kelp you, but I'm not going to do it because... Uh. There's bucket heads I'd rather use that for. Such as this gentleman over here. Do I try and wait for them to come up before I... In fact, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, yeah. Let's put the tangle kelp down. Double plant food it. That should take care of... Most of them. Do it again. Bro, tangle kelp though. That was a 25 sun plant. And it's just taken out an entire wave. Albeit, you know, I plant fooded it twice, but... It's not the point. Point is... I like this thing. Pretty much anything insta-kill, sign me up. Now, what? hang on, did I see that right? There's not a single safe lane here. Everything has to go on a lily pad. Otherwise, oh, the tide is dead ass going to cover the entire level. Let's switch it up. Let's laser beam this one. I didn't know I actually had a damage counter to it. I assumed it just killed whatever it grabbed hold of. I guess not. So everything has to go on a lily pad. Very important. If it doesn't go on a lily pad, it will die. Not really sure how I'm going to lay this out. I'm just going to wing it, as it were. Kind of what I do, isn't it? This kind of works for now. I... Wait a minute. Let me get... Perfect. Thank God you can punch backwards. You are my lord and savior, Bonk Choi. Yeah, because then we do laser beams behind it. And then we are looking sharp. See, I suppose the good thing as well is when the tide starts coming in and the lily pad's out on the water, it kind of functions as like a mini wall. Like a little mini defense that they have to get through. So that does buy like a couple of extra seconds. And that does actually make a difference. Yeah, our tide's almost all the way in now. Setup's looking good though, honestly. Then I stick that there, hit the plant food. Done deal. Good luck getting through that. And the Bonk Choi can reach them from behind it as well. That's even better. I wasn't even sure they'd be able to. So this is not too bad. I think ever since I got Bonk Choi to level 5, or just kind of ever since I'd started using him again, I kind of want to use him all the time now. He's actually he's a lot more helpful than I think I've given him credit for. My research indicates that the sport of bowling experienced a heyday during this era. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, are you going to make me use the, what's it called, the bowling bulb? I've used that thing before and like... Oh, nice gargantua. Okay, this isn't quite what I was expecting. This is like a really weird version of walnut bowling, but not with walnuts. Place your bulb to the left of the... I did place it to the left of the line. What do you want about? Okay. So, pretty standard. 
Do they all just do the same thing? I thought this one might, like, zap them. It's kind of explosive, a little bit. What happens if I do that? It does hit him, but it didn't kill him. That just looks like Sonic. That one's just not doing shit. So basically, the orange ones are really weak. These ones are not. These ones are actually quite good. So they are of varying strengths, it would appear. Well, that was a good combo. Yoink. Oh, right down middle, right down middle. Nice. It's a long one. Not even halfway through this one yet. Concentrate a little bit for that one. That is day number eight of Big Wave Beach. Not been too bad so far. The gargantua scared me there a little bit, and then I remembered that I had a barbecue. Either way, I'm thinking that's what we're going to call it for the first part of Big Wave Beach. We have survived so far, but I'm sure we've not even started yet. Hope you've enjoyed the episode, and I hope you're looking forward to Big Wave Beach. This is the one you've all been waiting for. This is the world you all wanted to see me play. Now you're going to get to see it. If you did enjoy the episode, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Stay tuned for the next one. See you next time.